And Iowa schools can now mandate masks in the classroom. This after a federal judge ordered the state to immediately stop enforcing the state's ban on mask mandates. Des Moines Public Schools has chosen to reinstate their mask mandate starting Wednesday. The district superintendent issuing a statement saying in part, quote, the court's decision to set aside Iowa's ban on school districts being able to protect children in our care is welcome news. We'll have more details on what led up to this in just a few minutes. But first, we'll start with Local 5's Eva Anderson, who's been speaking with parents and political leaders. Eva, there is mixed reaction tonight. Mixed reaction indeed, Samantha. Well, you just heard the news is a welcome relief to some school districts, including parents and even some political leaders. But the judge's decision is largely frustrating Republican leadership tonight. Governor Reynolds responding to the decision, saying in part, quote, we will appeal and exercise every legal option we have to uphold state law and defend the rights and liberties afforded to any American citizen protected by our Constitution. Tonight, the ACLU responding to the governor's statement. I, I saw the governor's comment and it sounded very political and that's too bad because this case is not about politics at all. At the end of the day, this case is really about ensuring that kids in Iowa have a fair and safe opportunity to go to school and truly about protecting kids from severe illness, hospitalization and even death from COVID-19. We also spoke with parents this evening who are sharing some of those mixed reactions to the judge's ruling. I'm really happy with it um, because it seems like the, uh, you know, the school boards have been, their hands have been tied um, by the law. Well, I'm hopeful that this will open the possibility of having masks, mask mandates in the school again. A total gut punch to America and our freedoms. If your child has a disability, then you have the choice to go and learn at home, just like we did last year. But public education is free. We should be free to breathe fresh air. Well, this past May, that parent you just saw speaking was by the governor's side as House Speaker Pat Grassley hand-delivered that bill to the governor's desk before she signed it into law. We checked in with Speaker Grassley this evening. That we're going to support the governor in this. We're on the same page. We obviously, it was a bill that she uh, wanted at her desk. We got it there, and so we're going to continue to support her. Meanwhile, disability rights organizations expressing relief over the decision. Katherine Johnson, the executive director of Disability Rights Iowa, issued a statement today saying in part, quote, Today is a monumental day for all plaintiffs, as well as all Iowans forced to choose between sacrificing their child's health or education opportunities. Effective today. Parents no longer have to make this impossible choice. Their children are entitled to both. Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Eva, thank you. We continue to provide context around the judge's decision. Let's take a look at how we got here exactly. Local 5's Zach Summers explains. Masking has been controversial for what feels like the entire pandemic. In July 2020, Governor Kim Reynolds encouraged Iowans to mask up with a social media campaign. After months of increasing COVID activity and asking Iowans to, quote, do the right thing, Reynolds issued a limited mask mandate, quickly followed by a statewide mandate on November 16th. That was the peak of the pandemic. Later, Reynolds would fight for a parent's right to choose on sending their kids back to school 100% in person. That would go to a parent's right to choose if their child should mask up, even though doctors said masks are the best thing to protect kids not yet eligible to get vaccines, meaning those 12 and younger. On May 20th, surrounded by anti-mask supporters, Reynolds signed a law banning schools, local governments, and some businesses from requiring masks. Then the CDC announced their recommendation all students and staff should mask up when in school, but Iowa's law made it difficult. Parents took it to court, filing two lawsuits against the state. A lot of you reacting to the news of the judge's decision, some offering pointed critiques of the governor on our We Are Iowa Facebook page. Make sure to text us your feedback on the decision. The number is right there on your screen.